I'm guessing people with money like these things. Uh, maybe not so much as like, but un understand that there can be opportunity. I'm not trying to make yeah, them uh, like sure. the, the mustache <laughs> twirling of course. Uh, yeah. villain, yeah. but maybe they're the ones sitting back eating popcorn, mm -hmm. kind of laughing at, you know, I'm mm -hmm. not laughing, that's it's cruel, but you know, Sue is in, you know, my mom, I mean, a lot of people are really concerned, but if you, if, 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 and, and when I say people with money, it's because, I mean people with money who, who invest. Sure. Like the Warren Buffetts, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a celebrity with a ton of money, you might be freaking out too. Mm -hmm. But if you're knowledgeable of these things, then you realize, one, I don't have to worry, not just because I have a lot of money, but because I know it's coming back, mm -hmm. as it has historically. Right. And two, these are the times where people who sell cheap, sell to those who buy cheap. And so, they're just going to accumulate more wealth, it, mm -hmm. it strikes me. Mm -hmm. Like Warren Buffett is, is going to come out of this way better than he was before going into it, would you say? Because he's going to start buying and get them on sale and then he'll have them when they're up, he'll have way more. So the Warren Buffett type of investor, yeah, um, who, who really understands the companies they're investing in and says, you know, whatever company I want to invest in, I know has... Uh, this this much value mm -hmm. and this is what it's trading at it's trading at say a 20 percent discount to what it's really worth uh with that understanding of what you're investing in uh you can have a high a high amount of confidence knowing that now is a good time to buy which is what we were yeah. talking about earlier yeah and so uh for most of us who are investing in instruments like mutual funds and exchange traded funds etfs mm -hmm. um where we're buying baskets of stocks yeah, yeah. Um, either buying the index or hiring, a, say, a professional investment company to pick the stocks for you. Mm -hmm. um, it's just important to know that uh, when you're buying, uh, buying the market, yeah, um, you're effectively doing the same thing. You don't have to think, okay, well now I have to cherry pick stocks. Uh huh. Uh, just stick with. Would you even Would you even suggest against that? I suggest against uh, in, uh, investing in individual stocks, un unless you do have a very good understanding of, of what you're investing in. Um, and there's some individual investors who, uh, who have a great aptitude uh, and, a, and a great interest in studying these companies. Yeah. Um, but I think unless you go to that level, um, it's a little bit of, um, it can be a little bit of a crapshoot. Yeah, yeah, of course. And then, you know, if you are heavily invested in one company that has a serious problem, then you're out a lot of money. Right. Yeah. And there, there are going to be some companies that don't come out of this as healthy as they were going in. Yeah, and trying to figure that out actually would be a real... Like, I've, I've said, we need to buy Amazon. Right. Because now everyone, every baby boomer is mm -hmm. going to start an Amazon account because mm -hmm. they're all going to want delivery. Mm -hmm. Plus, Amazon's doing great anyway because people right. aren't going to stores. Right. So it seems like a slam dunk buy, but, you know, I mean, that's just... And there's... there's that, that's armchair. Correct. Investing. And there's, there's going to be a lot of hindsight, you know, in a couple of years from now, it's, oh, I should have bought XYZ company. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it, we should have known then that it yeah. would have done well, but... There's finance is, is rife with these um, uh, with these um, biases. Yeah, okay. you know whether yeah. it's a hindsight bias or um, there's actually an, an entire topic of uh, behavioral finance that has really been been really um, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of research has come out the last few years, and that's actually good stuff to look at because there's even there's even figures of uh, say what does the S and P. What is the S and P returned, and what has the average investor returned? Because they can look at, say, fund flows compared to what what the uh, what the market's done. So mm -hmm. uh, you you can get a good insight into how people as a whole invest versus um, what mm -hmm. the actual market's return. And how, when you look at individual traders or investors, you mm -hmm. find that their results aren't much better than if you just would have put money spread out all over. Uh, on the average, it's worse. It's worse. Right. So the quote, investor returns. There's that meme out there. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's kind of like that. Yes, exactly.
Gosh, I was actually blown away like five years ago, maybe mm -hmm. 10 years ago, I don't know. But when I first heard, I don't know if it was Warren Buffett or someone else say, just invest in like an S&P mutual fund. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, it, that goes back to what you were saying earlier, like it's not complicated. No. Don't overcomplicate it. Right. And you're thinking Warren Buffett's going to have, and he does, he has a team of, you know, of eggheads. Yeah. But... If you don't have that team of eggheads, mm -hmm. you don't have to try to catch up to him and, and, and his team. You can just, just invest in the mutual fund. Large U.S. companies, small U.S. companies, international stocks, um, both international stocks from de developed countries, think, uh, mm -hmm. think Europe, Japan, Australia, but mm -hmm. also in developing countries. Um, and then there's the entire bond market, which actually dwarfs the stock market. So mm -hmm. your investing strategy, investment strategy should have uh, a certain percentage in all of these areas. So you don't just want to, just throwing all of your money into the S&P 500 isn't necessarily a strategy. Uh, okay. Um, but if you say, <laughs> here's my percentages in each of these categories, I see. that's when you can say when things get either too hot or like right now, really scary, go back to, I know this, these are the percentages in my categories. I'm going to rebalance to keep them in the in line. I see. And long term, that's how people, investors, really make out.